In 1945, during the waning days of World War II, Koichi Shikishima, a kamikaze pilot, pretends to experience technical difficulties with his aircraft and makes an emergency landing on Odo Island. Tachibana, the chief mechanic, suggests that Shikishima abandoned his duty. That same night, the island is attacked by Godzilla, a monstrous creature resembling a dinosaur. Shikishima attempts to engage Godzilla in combat from his plane, but is rendered unconscious in the process. Upon awakening, he discovers that Tachibana is the only other survivor who holds him responsible for his inaction. In 1946, Shikishima returns home to find his parents killed in the Tokyo bombings. Tormented by survivor's guilt, he takes up work as a minesweeper and starts assisting Nariko Oishi, a woman who lost her parents in the bombings, and an orphaned infant named Akiko, whom Nariko had rescued. Later that same year, Godzilla undergoes a mutation and grows in size due to the effects of nuclear tests conducted by the United States at Bikini Atoll. The creature destroys multiple U.S. warships before setting its sights on Japan. Despite tensions with the Soviet Union, the U.S. declines assistance, but General Douglas MacArthur dispatches retired vessels from the Imperial Japanese Navy. In May 1947, Shikishima and his minesweeper team are assigned the mission of intercepting Godzilla's advance towards Japan, essentially buying time for larger vessels to join the battle. They deploy a mine directly into Godzilla's mouth and trigger its explosion, causing considerable harm, but the creature swiftly regenerates. Soon after, the heavy cruiser Takao enters the scene and confronts Godzilla, only to be obliterated by the monster's atomic heat ray. After returning to Tokyo, Shikishima tells Nariko about the attack and his earlier encounter with Godzilla. Days later, Godzilla makes landfall in Japan, attacking Ginza, where Nariko works. Nariko narrowly avoids dying and is found by Shikishima. Type 4 Chi to medium tanks engage Godzilla, but it fires its heat ray which causes a nuclear explosion that obliterates Ginza, killing tens of thousands. Nariko pushes Shikishima into an alley but is caught in the blast herself and presumed dead. Devastated by the loss of Nariko, Shikishima vows revenge against Godzilla. Godzilla departs, but is expected to return. The government refuses to do more to prevent another attack. One of the Minesweeper's crew, former naval engineer Kenji Noda plans to destroy Godzilla by surrounding it with Freon tanks and rupturing them, lowering the water's buoyancy and sinking it to a depth of 1,500 meters, letting the resultant pressure crush it. Should that plan fail, balloons will be inflated under Godzilla to force it back up to the surface, killing it through explosive decompression. He has recruited private citizens, mostly former naval members, to enact his plan. Shikishima recruits Tachibana, the mechanic he fought alongside, to repair a broken-down Kyushu J-7W Shinden fighter. Shikishima plans to fly into Godzilla's mouth, then detonate an explosive charge inside the plane in an attempt to destroy the monster from the inside. He leaves Akiko in the care of his neighbor Sumiko. Godzilla resurfaces, and Shikishima draws it into the trap. After Godzilla is tricked into destroying two unmanned destroyers with its heat ray, the two remaining ships get close and rapid in the buoys. Godzilla is then successfully dragged down to 1,500 meters, but survives. The balloons are activated, forcing Godzilla up to 800 meters, but it survives and manages to break free. Two ships try to haul Godzilla to the surface but fail. A fleet of tugboats lend their assistance and Godzilla is brought to the surface. Still alive and enraged, Godzilla prepares to destroy all the ships with its heat ray. Shikishima flies the explosive plane into Godzilla's mouth and remembers Tachibana imploring him to use the ejection seat, to let go of his survivor's guilt and choose to live. The plane explodes, destroying Godzilla's head and causing the energy of its heat ray to tear its body apart. The crew celebrates as Shikishima parachutes down, having chosen to live. Shikishima receives a telegram and heads to the hospital with Akiko. They are reunited with Nariko, who survived the destruction, but has a black mark creeping up her neck. Meanwhile, a chunk of Godzilla's scale sinks into the ocean and begins to glow and morph.